Perez and I'm reporting live from Civic State. Gabriana Castillo. And Chantal Maldonado. And we had an ordinance passed by the city council. Our problem was burdensome traffic in Lawrence High School. We collected data and since it's going to be affected with the people and residents for Crawford Street, we decided to take a survey to see how the residents would feel about this. 76% of the people surveyed agreed to making Crawford Street a one-way street and 61% have witnessed an accident on Crawford Street, which is very high. We propose that Crawford Street would be a one-way from the times of 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And this would begin mid-August and would end June 30th. For Crawford Street, it's only going to be a one-way coming down and we're going to block the right lane and it's only going to be a right turn only so that they could take a right onto Parish Road and exit out from there. We had to go through many, many meetings with City Council and we even had a meeting with the Chief of Police and the Traffic Engineer of Lawrence and they approved of this because they've been trying to make this a law for 13 years. Today, the mayor is going to sign the law. Since we are LHS students, we decided to take upon us to do the traffic way since it does affect us. Students could come into the school safely without getting hit by a car. This has made us very good leaders in our community. This gives us a sense of pride in our school. Hey, I'm Kira Echeverria. We're here in Civic State Project. Our project is basically about littering in Lawrence. As you can see here, we had a class discussion and a debate and we focus on trash and how we can help the environment and how Lawrence looks. So we then went, took a few meetings to the city council. We basically made it into a law. Our whole idea is to ask store owners to put trash bags or trash containers outside or inside the store because some people can be walking around and they don't see a trash so they throw it on the floor. But if they see a trash, they can go in there. We actually have a survey here. Some people said yes to contributing and to helping the environment. They will put a trash container. Hi, my name is Carmen Melendez, and it feels really good to make an impact in the community. As a team, you, ha you create a lot of ideas and you help the community become better. Because I am a part of the community, so I want to be like, like make it better. Good morning, my name is Angelica Castillo and I am a junior at Lawrence High School Upper School Academy. My issue is period poverty. Period poverty is the lack of access to period products and the education needed to use them effectively. And the reason why I decided to do or choose this issue is because I saw period products dispensers, but they were empty. So I thought to myself, why don't we have this in every single bathroom and why aren't they they're full? My first approach to this issue was making a Google form to gather data on the issue on my school. 85.7% of students have to lose class time because they don't have pure products and they need to go to the nurse or somewhere else to find pure products. 64.3% of students said that they have gone on a full day with the same pattern tampon because they didn't have an extra one to change it. And as I found outside research is that not changing pads every six to eight hours can make you more prone to having infections. One of my first things that I did as action plan was contacting Free Period, a nonprofit organization whose main purpose is to provide menstrual products to, to people in need. So one of the things they told me was supporting the I Am Bell, which is a bill that aims to provide free menstrual products to all public schools, homeless shelters, and prisons. They will donate pure products to the school, and we're thinking about having them in bathrooms or in counselor's office. I decided to write a letter to Senator Pavel Payano to, to ask him to support the I Am Bill. On a field trip that I went to the State House, I gave the letter to him. He said he will support the bill as the National Honor Society. I helped fundraise 2,000 plus dollars to make care packages like those in the pictures. We made those care packages with pads, tampons, and other hygiene products that will be distributed in Lawrence, Kenya, and the mobile market here at Lawrence High School. It makes me happy to know that soon people will be happy and they will be more confident about their natural processes. Like that's periods are natural and half of the population of the school has a period. So I'm so proud and happy to know that a lot of people are gonna benefit from my projects.